Hi everybody, today we'll do some heart on our machine at the Express Professional. First, we will start by casting the machine, one in the front, one in the back. There. And you just keep cranking after. I will do like five rows with the white. It's the waist yarn. It's the yarn that I will remove at the end. So I start with waist yarn and I will add some yarn project just after. I choose a red. You just open your yarn feeder and you add your color just beside the other one. Make sure you have a long tail to pull on it. There check it don't lose any stitches and you just crank in this video I will show you two different way to make heart so you got two tutorial in this video so I crank like this till I get 15 rows so now I will cut the yarn keep it long enough to cast off my machine with the yarn needle crank it a little bit because the machine have to your stitches have to pass through the yarn feeder to be released from the machine if you don't crank it a little bit it won't be easy to remove so crank it a little bit choose the one next to the end of your work and you get stitch by stitch till you get to the end this version of the heart will be a little bit simple it's not too uh, difficult but you will need some practice there you will have some uh, circle close on this tool. Just pull up on your yarn. And you will go with your yarn, your yarn uh, needle, and just grab the stitches to make sure that everything's secure. Pull and you do some knot. When the knot are done, you go the other side and you will close it with the hook number four. We'll close your tube to be flat. So you get one stitch on the side and one stitch on the other side till you get to the end. Make sure that you get all your stitches because if you lose one, you will have a a drop stitch and you could see why it's a very important to get different color yarn very dark or very pale when you use waist yarn so it's easy to find the stitches if you go to a similar to your yarn project it will be hard on your eyes high not eyes high sorry so I will continue to pick up the stitches. There. Make sure you wrap every stitches because if you miss one you're gonna lose it it's gonna drop so that's tight I did a, a knot now it's time to remove my waist yarn sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not
like right now it gets stuck I will have to cut it for the video because I don't want to lose some time anyways you remove all your waste yarn I cut it just to save time because usually I don't Now, see I lost one one stitches. I will grab my uh, hook, just pick in the the work and grab the stitches, and close it with the tail. Check everywhere if I didn't lose any more. There, no, nope, look okay. Hide it between the two layer. Cut it. Be careful not to cut your fabric, and uh, not your fabric, but your project. Oh, I got another one there that I lose. Jeez. Oh, okay. Sorry for that. I will just pick it with the tip of my uh, needle, and I will just go and do it and not like this because it's. It won't show at the end, don't worry. There, and I did. So if it's happened to you, you will know how to fix it. And you will see that I have problem too. It's not always easy, like it's look. <laughs> okay, we continue. And with my yarn needle, I will go and pick in the middle of the the tube. If you have problem, just fold it like this. Find your middle. You're gonna go in the same column. There. Pick in the middle and go in the middle of my work. There. Make sure you the same line and I will pull on the yarn like this. That will be the middle of your heart. Make it tight. Don't worry for those and on the top. Want a pair like that at the end. You will fix it. this and it's time to fix the bottom of it not the bottom the the side so I will you want a shape of a heart so I will go and with my finger just pinch it to have a look Okay, like it. But now I will just go like this and I will sew it like a mattress stitch. You go one side, you grab, and you go the other side. That will give you the shape of your heart. We will uh, cheating a little bit here. It's a sculpture, a sculpture. <laughs> I don't know the, the right word, but we are cheating. But it's okay, it will work at the end. See, it's nice. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just make sure you tighten up with the knot, pick your needle in it, and go on the bottom again. And we will do the same thing on the other side. We will repeat the mattress stitch technique. So you could see that I don't continue till uh, I just go like a 
four centimeter long there or maybe an inch there check the other side if I'm like the, the same place both stretch it very important to stretch it if you don't stretch it it will want stay in shape like what you need oh I lost another stitch there oh lily I lost a lot of stitches on this one it's okay I'm just gonna go the other side and pick up the stitches that stitch just make sure don't change the shape of your heart I grab this stitch that I have dropped now we'll hide it there and do a double knot sorry for the noise uh, kids are playing together tonight <laughs> Maybe you heard you hear them. So that's the first and second part of this one. Now I will go down and fix the bottom of it. Cut it. Stretch again. Almost there. Now I will pinch it with my finger like this there almost finished I go and come back and like three times and I will attach it with a double knot there Hide the yarn and your first heart is done. You will see the other version in uh, less than 30 seconds. There. Cut it. Ta-da! your first heart go to the next one now so for the next version of the heart I will cast on the machine again with white yarn because it's the one I have uh, on my table close the yarn feeder and crank usually I do like five rows Cut the yarn, open the yarn feeder, and add your project yarn. I choose red from uh, Bernat Satin for this one. Put your tail close to the other one. Make sure you don't lose any stitch, no drop stitch. You continue to crank. So for this one, you will need a tube of 20 rows and another tube of 15 rows okay so you will do the same thing twice there done time to cut the yarn and grab your uh, yarn needle and cast off your project from the machine This video was supposed to be for February, but I forgot 
and last night somebody uh, on my uh, Facebook group asked for help to do some heart so it so you close your tube by just pull on the the yarn and get your stitches with your yarn needle when you got all that you will do a double knot we will make the same thing with the two tube the second one in here so the longer one is 20 rows and the smallest is 15 rows so we do the same just grab the stitches pull on it and attach it with a double double knot when you're done with it stretch a little bit it's always good to stretch your work I don't know if I mention it but the yarn that I use is red from Bernat Sata so now we will close the two flat with a hook number four You flat and you make sure that your tail is on the opposite side that your starting place is so you grab one stitches one side one the other side make sure your uh, uh, waist yarn is always a very different color so it's easy to find your stitches so you go one side and the other one and the other side grab the stitch it's it's not that easy at the beginning but with time you will get better and better with that technique and it give a nice finishing look to for your project so you grab stitch by stitch If you don't have the red uh, from Bernat de Satin, it's okay. Use the yarn that is working uh, on your machine and that you have at home, and it will be okay. When you have problems, just take a tip of your wool needle and grab your stitches. Sometimes get tight, but it's normal. So take the tip. To get my stitches there almost done make sure you grab all the stitches because if you don't you will have drop stitch and it's not fun just to close it you'll take your crochet and grab your tail and that's it time to remove your waist yarn sometimes it's easy sometimes not when it's easy you will be patient and remove everything when it's not you just cut it especially when you do a video you don't want to waste your time with the waist yarn <laughs> So you stretch it, you check if you don't have any drop stitch, and you do the same thing on the other tube. Continue. Yeah. 
if you have any requests of a project that you'd like me to try uh, just post it on the comment and I will add it on my list to do so maybe uh, during the year you will see the project that you're looking for if it's not already uh, available on a YouTube channel of somebody else if it's not I will try I will give it a try almost to the end sometimes it's not easy to grab every stitches because you don't know where it is there I think I have every stitches there I will remove the waist yarn and see if I drop some stitches you just go in like this and pull very hard and it worked there checking if I lose any stitches because the first hurt I lose a lot but it's okay I show up to fix it and it's also good it help but hiding the little tail Cut the excess. Oh, I lost one stitch is there. I will grab it with my needle I go close to it with yarn and grab the stitches there I fix it time to sew it together it's gonna be a vertical on horizontal <laughs> sewing. It's hard to say. Vertical on horizontal seam. <laughs> so make sure you stay on the right and the same uh, column. I, I, I see that I did a mistake on the video right now. I should go like closer the row closer, not the row, the column, closer to the other one, but it will work, don't worry. So I will do like when you do a mattress stitch, you grab one side and you go and grab a stitch the other side. There. Important thing here is to stay in the same column. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, sorry. I do my best so continue the same line see I always I will say the a line it's a, the same thing okay and in French it's colon but I don't know in English what it's the word to use so I will say line follow your line the same line and I arrive here at the end you will pull on your work on here it's gonna be a nice seam and you do a little uh, double uh, knot on it and voila you got your heart second version finish so I wish you a great day and enjoy your machine and stay safe stay at home